Okay. So this is also Vidya's question. I think a lot of questions posted by Vidya in today's session. So next one, try this. Okay, so Vidya says in this question, she didn't understand the second line. Yes, this question is a bit tricky, but uh, okay, let's try it out. What is given here? P and Q uh, together can complete a piece of work in 60 days. Okay, okay, fine. So, uh, now I am going to solve this with the unitary method. Okay, see for each question, uh, I always say this, there is, uh, I won't say always follow the unitary method or always follow the LCM method or efficiency method. Uh, whichever method suits for the problem, use that. Okay, so here I am going to go with the unitary method. So, what is given here? P and Q together can complete a piece of work in 60 days or in one day, P and Q can complete 1 by 60th of the work. Okay, now P does one third of as much as Q in four fifths of the time taken by R. So, what we have to remember here is that they are talking about a fixed time. Let it be 10 days. Okay, I am just assuming. In this 10 days time, P will do 1 by third of as much as Q does. So, if I say in this 10 days, Q does X units of work, right? How much work will P do? P will do X by 3 units, right? P does 1 third as much as Q in 4 fifth of the time taken by R, right? This 10 days refers to 4 fifth of the time R takes to finish the work. Okay. So, what they are trying to say here is P does one third as much as Q in four fifths of the time taken by R alone to do the work. So, if I say that R takes 10 days to do four fifths of the work, in this 10 days, P will do one third of what Q has done. Okay. If I say Q does X units of work in this 10 days, P would have done X by 3 units of work in this 10 days. That's all. Okay. Or basically what does that mean? Basically this sentence is given so that in a, what you understand here is in a given specific time, whatever work Q does, P will do 1 by 3rd of that or the efficiency of P is 1 by 3rd of Q. So for example, if I say in one day, right, if I say Q in one day, right, does 1 by x of the work, then P in the same one day will do only 1 by 3x, correct? To understand, this is what you have to understand from this given statement, okay? So, I am first we have to take this part, see, I hope you understand. P does one third as much as Q in four fifths of the time taken by R alone to do the work. So, uh, I am just assuming let R take some number of days to do four fifths of the work. In that number of days, if Q is doing some amount of work, P will do only one third of that in the same time or the efficiency when you compare the efficiency of Q and P, P is only one by third as efficient as Q or we can say substitute this here, what will you get? 1 by x plus 1 by 3x is equal to 1 by 60, correct or 4, <coughs> 4 by 3x is equal to 1 by 60 um, and you have uh, 3x is equal to 60 into 4, um, 3x is equal to 240 you will get, correct? 3x is equal to 240 or x is equal to 80. P does one third as much as Q in four fifths of the time taken by R alone to do the work. See, they should have given, uh, Vidya, was the answer as 100? I am assuming that the answer given is 100. Yeah, okay, so Vidya says 100, right? Yeah, so if 100 is the answer that you are getting, there should have been a small uh, clarity. Okay, see what they are trying to say is that in 80 days, right, The this value that they are talking about is 80 days. See, right now what do I know? I know that Q can complete a work in 80 days and P can complete the work in 240 days. So what they are trying to say is that P does one third as much as Q in four fifths of the time taken by R. This 80 days, right? See, they should have mentioned here P takes one third as much as uh, what Q would be doing alone, right? To complete the work. That should be specified here. Basically, if I say that Q is taking X days to complete the full work, right? It should have been mentioned like that, something like that here. In this X days, P would have done one third of the work, uh, which is nothing but four fifths of the time taken by R to do the work. So, if 
if you consider it that way, Q when it does 80, right? In 80 days, Q is completing the work. In this 80 days, P will do one third of what Q is doing. And this 80 refers to 4 by 5th of the time taken by R to complete the work. 4 by 5th of the time taken by R to complete the work is 80. So, what is the number of days that R would take to complete the work? It will be 100. Yeah. So, 100 will be your answer. Okay. Yes. So, I think understanding there is the uh, problem. Um, so, basically what they are trying to say is that if Q is able to do a work in some number of days, in that days P would have done only one third of the work. And this number of days that Q would take to complete the work, right, that refers to 4 by 5th of the time taken by R to R alone to do the work. So, if you understand it that way, then you will get the answer as 100. Okay, yeah, it's a bit tricky there at that point, but I guess this is the right approach to solve it. Clear? Because going by options also won't uh, work well here. Better to do it this way only. That's why I tried, uh, if we can do something with the options, I don't think it will work. What you should understand is, P does one third uh, as much as Q. So what they are saying is, Q is doing a work in some number of days. In that number of days, P would have done one third. And that also refers to four fifths of the work time taken by R to finish the work. Understand it like that. Efficiency ratio of P and Q, we know, na? P will do one third as much as Q.